I'm very interested in the, not only plants, but the intersection of where nature and culture make their dividing line and have boundaries that are crossed and recrossed over time. And in, in many ways, um, they're at odds with each other, but also in synthesis. The work is in this exhibition um, is, for the most part, uh, cast bronze. And I collect plant specimens from the roadsides and gardens and fields in uh, the Texas Hill Country, primarily. And a lot of the work that I, a lot of the plants that I use are considered undesirable by most people. They're weeds, thistles among them. And um, thistles are a really interesting plant because they're part of a uh, group of uh, botanicals that are called disturbance-loving species. I've always been interested, again, in that intersection between um, human development and natural selection, for example. <clears throat> I think science is a keen observer of how the world works, as are artists. And um, so science becomes a metaphor in a way of understanding the natural world. The way we try to classify it, control it, bring it indoors as the Victorians did, and make it into wallpaper and molding and beautiful textile patterns as a way of kind of controlling it. And I'm interested as an artist in that idea of presenting and modeling notions of science, taxonomy, and the way plants have undergone changes from early on, beginning with hybridization and grafting and now genetic modification. The centrifugal casting process, which is what I use to get the finest detail, is primarily used in the dental and jewelry industry. The actual plants are burned out in a kiln and the negative space that they leave in the, in the investment is then filled with molten bronze under force of centrifugal pressure. There are two sculptures in the show, Thatch and Twin, which actually use an underwater plant called Hydrilla, which is an invasive plant in the San Marcos River. And while they're not threats to each other, they are they're sort of mutual allies against the human need for the lands and the spaces that they occupy. A lot of what the Weed series is about is the rhizomatic nature, not only of plants, but of human thinking, the internet, how um, our thought processes work, and allude to things beyond the world of botany and beyond the world of art. Part of the Marking Time Plotting Place project includes a group of work that um, I call the Barcode series that show um, UPCs, uh, universal product codes, that seem to, be, that I present as taxonomies for the various plants that I bring together. And they're com connected by a linear structure that resembles not only a family tree, but also corporate graphs, and also the plumbing or tubing in refining industries that are also in the laboratory. And the idea is to connect these plants in a way that um, has a, that are not taxonomic, because obviously the UPCs are not related to the plants specifically. Um, however, I choose plants that are, for example, have the same bloom time, or that grow adjacent in my garden, one a weed and two cultivated plants, or I collect plants potentially at all the same time in their bloom cycle or their seed cycle, and then pair them together. So it's a constructed narrative that I put together in a way that resembles the authority of science.